What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. Critical point of the project right now, we're about to pour our slab. First we have to reinforce it, get our base in there. We're gonna go through the whole process. So make sure you hit subscribe, stay tuned. First things first here, we're gonna start by compacting our subgrade. We wanna make sure that there's no settlement down the line that's gonna cause our slab to crack. Same thing applies with this three quarter stone base. It's going to help with drainage underneath our slab and also ensure that we don't have any of that settlement. And we do need to make sure that it's eight inches deep around the edge of our slab. The rest of it's four inches thick and you can see we're running string lines and we can measure off of that to ensure we have the proper depth. All right, we have our stone base in here. Come check this out. You can see we have our haunch right here. We have four inches of embedment below our helical pile and four inches above. The rest of our slab is just gonna be four inches thick, but now we're tying in our rebar that needs to be continuous along all the pile heads. So we're gonna show you how we tie this together and uh, we're gonna make some bends for the corner. Hey, you wanna show us how we, uh, how we get that done? You can see we already have one there. I have a measurement about a five feet. We put our screen pole in there. Slide a rebar through the screen pole in about five feet. Step on it. Bend it. 90 degrees. Like a railroad track. Yeehaw! Or no, that's horses. Chugga chugga choo choo. All aboard. Next stop, tying up the rebar. Those are all train references. They are. Yeah. We're wrapping this up. And then all we do, we're going to tie it. There you go. Do that a bunch more times. And then that's going to give us all of that support tied together. And this is going to be a super strong haunch tied into our helical piles. That's what's going to resist heaving for this whole entire structure. Long one. <laughs> As usual, we're gonna make sure that our three-quarter stone base is properly compacted, make sure we don't have any settlement down the road. And then after we have that done, we're gonna do a vapor barrier under our slab here because this is gonna be a conditioned space. This is gonna stop moisture from wicking up from underneath. See, we've got our vapor barrier down over top of our compacted stone and now we're putting in our reinforcement wire mesh. That's gonna go about halfway through the, what? Huh? What? <laughs> Just snip it. Anyway, this is gonna go about halfway through our concrete slab. It's basically a replacement for rebar reinforcement. Uh, this is the wire mesh, it's a little bit snips? easier. Take the snips, what? Can we get those? Be right back. Now we're gonna tie in that wire mesh into a rebar that runs around our footing so that it's gonna be embedded about halfway through our slab. All right, so we have our slab here just about ready for concrete. We have our rebar, our helical piles, our wire mesh, all of that figured out. Now, what we're gonna have to do when we pour this slab is put in these J bolts. So these will be wet set into the concrete. This is gonna hold our entire structure down to the slab and make it one. So these are really important and the placement of these is really important. So Ant went ahead, check this out. He's got on the outside here, all of our stud layout. So he went around, marked out all of our walls, exactly where all the stud placement is gonna be for those so that 
we can put these J bolts in the wet concrete and make sure that once we go to frame up this wall, they're not going to be in the way of a stud that needs to go up. So little extra preparation there, but it's going to make a big difference once the slab is poured and we're ready to build walls. Just like that, good thing we had everything ready. Concrete truck came in hot and we're ready to pour. So we're just getting the wheelbarrows over to this far portion. We'll rake it out. And uh, once we get a little bit more in here, we can start screeding it. Quite a workout here. All hands on deck. Craziness once the concrete truck shows up.
mag is for like what Jose was doing in the beginning. Trying to get all the rocks down and the cream up. The concrete up. How was your first day of masonry at Premier Outdoor Living Field? It was a great day. It went very smooth. We got a great team. New boot goofing. Oh, you're sticking with those boots, huh? I'm not going to take them off and put them back on. Or whatever. Once these come off, I'm going straight flops, baby. Got all of our anchor bolts going in. Saw we bull floated it. We edged it. Now we'll wait for it to set up a little bit more. We'll finish it one more time. We don't have to be perfect on the finish here because we are gonna be tiling over top of this. So this is not gonna be exposed, but uh, once it sets up a little more, we'll be able to hit it one more time, smooth out those lines from the bull float and uh, should be good to go. Little hot tub pad came out nice. That one was nice and easy. <laughs> we just started over at the center of our slab and we're working our way off. We're hitting it with the mag float. I've also got a steel trail here and we're just giving it a nice smooth finish i'm not a professional concrete finisher but that's not what we need here we're tiling over this so we just want it nice level flat and uh and strong that's why we've got the helical piles we've got the rebar we've got the wire mesh we've got all of that it's looking pretty dang good it's a shame we're gonna have to cover this thing up All right, so we got our pad all finished up here. Come check out this finish. Ooh, my knee. So not too bad. Like I said, we're not concrete finishers here, but we are gonna be tiling over this. And I think, hey, we did a pretty good job. You can see we also have plates down here. We're gonna cover all of that in the next video. All of our framing walls gonna go up, rafters, sheathing, all of that stuff. So make sure you hit subscribe. Let us know what you wanna see about that process. And until next time, this is Premier Outdoor Living.